hey guys welcome to my channel to those when you welcome to those who are coming back welcome back my name is Fatim. in today's video i know most people who are watching these videos are interested in either acquiring a property investing in a property so i'd like to just take a look at the trend that's that's going on these days of cluster homes and gated communities and just to look at the pros and cons versus our traditional homes that we're used to so basically your cluster homes are homes that are built very close to each other and usually within a gated community so in zimbabwe as i'm seeing some cluster homes are even defined in terms of how they look like so when you get into a certain gated community the cluster homes they, they look the same okay and then but there are some that are a bit more flexible some you can do your own design but within certain guidelines and conformities so basically that's it, the definition of a cluster home these are homes that are very are very very close to each other and then the traditional homes that we are referring to are our jura hold spaces whereby you've got your high jura or up you've got your own space you know it can be within a gated community or in most cases this kind of houses are not in gated communities so you are going to look at those two and weigh the pros and cons before i go any further if you have not yet commented in any of my videos and you're watching please do comment leave a comment and please do subscribe okay let's get right into it so you're looking at the let's look at advantages of cluster homes i think cluster homes they just give a sense of community that's the first thing these homes are so close to each other and one way or the other you end up interacting with your neighbors and with the way they're built they've got communities even the way they do things because they want to keep a certain standard so there will be communities and groups and everything just to keep each other close and updated on what's going on so they give a sense of belonging and a sense of community that's the, is the major advantage of the cluster homes and i think another advantage is that in most cases this look quite nice because a lot has been put in to maintain a certain standard so people come together and then they agree on what it's supposed to look like so the usually these cluster homes that are being built these days and the gated communities they have a certain aesthetics and they look nice so those are the major two advantages that i saw for cluster homes and also because usually within the gated communities these days they're then building your schools your playgrounds your shops and everything so you've got everything close by so you don't have to really travel far there are some that don't have that but most that are coming up these days they have everything incorporated into the plan which will be within the the gated community all right and then one of the major disadvantages that i saw on cluster homes is that the privacy um may not be that much <laughs> so because in most cases they will tell you to put a jewel that's this high or in some cases they don't even have any jewel holes because they want to keep a certain look and everything the privacy is not that much so if you're a person who really likes privacy you might not have that much privacy and number two playground space for kids in your home so if, even if they have a community playground if you're one person that wants your kids to always be outside and exploring the outside it might not be really an option because the space that will be left for the outside playground is usually quite small and i see most kids end up playing in the road and everything so yeah so this i think these are the major disadvantages that i saw with cluster homes and let's look at our traditional homes which have the jurors and everything i guess the major advantage there is the privacy this privacy <laughs> so you can do your parties and everything and you're very closed up i like the cluster homes whereby if you're hosting a party i can imagine i'm not sure how people do it do they ask for permission and everything where do the cars park so in most cases i even see the space on the cluster home doesn't accommodate a lot of cars so if you have a lot of visitors that means they'll probably end up parking in the road and disturbing your neighbors and everything and like when you've got your own space um in a spacious area of course there are other areas that we know whereby it's a traditional home but the parking space is very little inside so either way you end up parking outside but in most traditional homes they cater for parking space within the jura hall all right and then the other advantage is the playground i love that so much because i would like my kids to be outside more often play with mud water the grass this interact with nature because i love nature so advantage of the you know your traditional you can play around with how you want to set up your outside if you're not a nature person you want to put slabs and everything it's also up to you so i think that's the other advantage of your traditional home yes and i guess on the um, disadvantages 
I, that sense of community that comes with cluster homes um, it may be limited depending on where you're staying and how your house are built. But in most cases, because you've got your own space, you're confined, it's rarely that you interact with your neighbor. Some people have stayed in places 15 years, 20 years, they don't even know their neighbors. They just know the person drives their white car, I see them driving in sometimes, but they don't even know them. So I guess that's one of the disadvantages that you don't really create that sense of community with your neighbors. But if you're a person who doesn't like community and likes to be alone and just private, I guess it would be ideal for you. And then in some cases, um, in gated communities that have people building different types of houses, different sizes of jewelry holes, the aesthetics of the place might not look as nice as the cluster homes that have um, defined looks and everything. So your house might look nice, but if the next person doesn't do a good job in building their house, that means it becomes a bit of um, you know, a disadvantage. So I've seen that a lot. You build a very beautiful house in the next house, maybe the person decides to build, build a very funny house. Not a funny house, but it's not meeting the standards of the house that you've built. Or they actually leave the land bare for some time and there's a cottage there and then there's... So the aesthetics of the place might not look as nice as the cluster homes because the cluster homes are built in a certain way and they look a certain way and the aesthetics is, is present of the area, not your house, the area around your house. Because I think it also matters how the area of around your house looks like. Okay, guys, we've come to the end of our video. I hope this was helpful. Please do share in the comment section what you prefer. Do you prefer a traditional house or do you prefer your cluster homes in this modern day and age? Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.